Insulin resistance is a very common hormonal condition that specifically makes achieving a healthy weight difficult. And it is a very common thing that we see happening to women after and around the time of menopause. With regards to insulin resistance, it is a significant risk factor for diabetes, for heart disease, and cancer. And I actually think it's that insulin resistance that's one of the most important risk factors of being overweight at all. And so it's very important that we understand it. I think this picture is worth a thousand words, so bear with me a little bit. This is showing a normal cell, and I'm going to contrast it in just a few minutes with an insulin resistant cell. If you see, the cell is depicted with the yellow, and outside is considered the blood. So these, this is supposed to be a picture of our muscle cell. The whole reason we eat food at all is to move energy inside our cells so that we can utilize that energy. Glucose is depicted as the red, and insulin are these tiny little blue dots. They actually look like little hexagons in this picture. Insulin is a hormone that's required to allow glucose to enter the cells. Without insulin, glucose can't enter. That's what happens to people if they have type 1 diabetes, and you don't get energy and you can die you know, from that. Now, what is in these darker blue are what's called insulin receptors. And you'll see there's a little spot where the insulin, the lighter blue, is attaching. And then it opens that central narrow area, which is called the glucose portal, and then sugar enters the cell. So if you look in the body of the cell, which is the yellow, you'll see all these little red glucose molecules showing that the cell has energy, the cell has nutrition, and it's been adequately fed. Now let's contrast it to an insulin-resistant cell. What you might notice right away is there's a lot more red on the outside of the cell. So in fact, there's a lot of sugar or glucose outside of the cell, but look inside the cell in the yellow. There's not very much. If you look around, I actually counted it up, there is more insulin in this picture than the other. So the body is still making insulin, but it doesn't work properly. So when you see those receptors, a lot of them are not, they're disabled. There's only two that are functioning in this particular cell where the insulin is attaching and glucose is allowing uh, to enter the cell. So you see here that there's hardly any sugar on the inside and most of it is stuck outside. Rebecca, would you mind just flipping that back just to see, again, that this is in the normal situation and then in the insulin resistance, how there's plenty of insulin but it doesn't work properly and there's lots of sugar outside the cell, but not enough inside the cell. Now this is really, really important, and I hate to bother you with the details, but I think this really makes a lot of sense. If you are insulin resistant, your cells are starving, and the human body does not do well with starving. So even though somebody may carry 30 pounds extra, or 40 pounds, or 20 pounds, whatever it is, in the form of stored fat, the body is not accessing or getting that adequately, so it feels it's starving. The body will do several compensatory mechanisms to not starve, because if this was easy you know, to just go without getting adequate energy, we, the human race would have died off a long time ago. So when the cells are starving, multiple chemical signals are released. And we in the medical profession, we call them cytokines or adipokines. And what they do is they tell the body to crave sugar and crave starch because they cannot move sugar inside the cell. So you directly crave the type of thing that is not entering properly because this is a problem with glucose transport. And this is the real key. So somebody is insulin resistant, which I find the vast majority of patients in my practice are, not just women after menopause, but 80 to 90% of the people I see in my practice, women, children and men who struggle with weight are insulin resistant. And when they try to diet, they cut down on calories and they immediately start craving sugars, craving starches. And even though they may have tremendous willpower, how long can you really fight your own body? Because this is what's happening. In addition to the craving of sugars and starches, metabolism starts to drop because the body thinks it's starving. So it puts more of this extra glucose, which is present out here, into fat storage. And this is exactly what happens in the woman after menopause. Her body cannot process glucose properly. 
it doesn't enter the cell, so it gets converted into fat for storage. And unfortunately, more of it is stored in the abdominal area, so the area around the liver, which is more metabolically active, and it just makes this progress, this problem actually get worse and worse. That the more, when you are insulin resistant, it's easier to become more insulin resistant, and so on and so on, to eventually getting diabetes, which is an extreme form of insulin resistance. But unfortunately, in our country, it's very, very common. And it's very common as you get older.